Hi and welcome everybody. I'm the DIY Swede. This is part 7 of my DIY home cinema. Here is a video of my DIY door that I showed more of in the last episode. It's with a home invented locking mechanism. This is the inner door. This is how I fold down my DIY acoustic transparent screen. This is the family cat. It's a real good guy. He likes to explore things. His name is Snö in Sweden. It's uh, snow in English. He's got magical powers. This is the acoustic transparent fabric which I glued on to the tab tension screen. The reason why I glued them together is because I didn't find any tab tension acoustic transparent screen which had good measurements and uh, was under 70,000 crowner or $7,000. And excuse me, but that's way too much money for me for a screen. So that's why I bought a half decent tab tension screen with really good acoustic transparent fabric, which had uh, extremely good measurements and uh, was good for 4K. Here you can see where I cut out the tab tension screen because I didn't want to distort the regular form. And then I glued on the back side which was the acoustic transparent fabric and then I cut out the inner part of the old tab tension screen. I'm sorry but I'm on summer vacation with my family. This is the family house. so. This is what I'm looking out on. It's too much to, to uh, reject. So I just have to go out, be with my family and uh, enjoy the summer. So this part is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. Hope you understand. But first I want to show you a clip that I forgot to show you in the last episode. Where my daughter is filling in all the small cubic zircona stones. I'm so glad to have such a wonderful daughters. But you can imagine when I told them you have to start over because I had to bend it in a specific shape, the half circle shape and put them in when I had that shape because I, I glued them with the transparent car paint underneath. Here you can see my left and right speakers where I used my old Twitter and mid-range 
speaker and uh, the base module which I built just for measuring the room because they they're just temporary my my plan is to build the ultimate speaker with six regular proper built base module for left and right and uh, two meter high png neo 10 and neo 3 speaker the white panels around the speakers are uh, acoustic panels just to manage the base in the room and manage the corner reflections but i'm sorry now i have to ride out on the sunset or i mean uh, in the sunny summer weather